Dean, uh, what's the training been like ahead of uh, Monday's match against Southend? Yeah, we've trained over the last couple of days um, and we need to bring some pride back to our football club. Uh, we did that sort of for 25 minutes on on Friday and we need to you know, do that over a 95 minute period. So uh, at the end of the day, you know, uh, the first half of the day is just totally unacceptable, which I said to you the other day, but we need to bounce back and we need to show a lot of character. Southend fell to defeat against Wheelstone uh, last time out. What, what are you expecting from them uh, this time around? Yeah, um, look, they've got some good players to be fair to Southend. They went on a brilliant run. They sort of, their forms just dipped. It just shows you how difficult the division is. It's a really difficult division. Um, and no doubt they'll, they'll be looking to bounce back like we're looking to do. So we just got to make sure we outrun the opposition. That's all I'm looking for in this game. Just outrun them um, in every department. Really that simple, that basic. Um, and stick to the game plan. Um, watch the game back from, from Dagenham and really we could have been eight nil down at half time. Um, we get back to the game plan in the in the second half, and we show that we're not a bad side when we uh, when we just stick to doing to keeping things basic, stick to running forward, playing forward, stick to making good contacts against the opposition, and making sure we win our individual battles. And that's what we've got to do now. We've got to make sure that each and every player takes responsibility for their own individual battle. And they need to come out on top of that. I know how frustrating it's been with, with the injuries lately. Are we likely, likely to see anyone back for Monday? No. no. If you look up at the board there, you've got Joe Winston, obviously long-term. Keen Flanagan, long-term. Woods, long-term. Um, Serhat Tazdemir, apparently he's sick. Um, we haven't seen him for three weeks. I don't know where he is. Um, Aston's got concussion. Um, he's had that obviously for about three weeks now. You can't take any risks, sort of that kind of situation. Um, and Sam Beard's still out, so Jamie Tordy's still out. So a lot of good players there are out for us, and not available. But the rest of the group have got, you know, they must man up now. You know, can't hide behind me, can't hide behind anything else. We've got a man up, and uh, we've got a front up, what's going on. Um, uh, so, yeah, so we need to. We've had a really deep conversation, a brutal conversation, absolutely brutal. Um, and they have to realise that as players, their stock's low. And the only way you get your stock high is by winning football matches. Um, and I've said that to them. They know that. Uh, they probably won't like me saying this, but uh, I've told them some real home truths. And, you know, if we're going to talk the talk, we have to walk the walk. Um, I mean, you know, our football club is um, it's in a better place than where it was 12 months ago um, but it's not exactly where I want it to be and it's uh, it, you know we're, we're rebuilding and yeah we're trying we're giving our all um, and just at this moment in time we're not where we, we need to be um, but I'll make sure we get to where we need to be Having struggled in front of goal a bit lately, uh, scoring three goals away from home must give the lads some sort of confidence heading into uh, Monday. I would say your clean sheets bring you success, nothing else. You know, clean sheets, you defend from the front, um, and you know what I would say is, I'm fair, I'm honest, I've been honest with the players. You know, uh, young Eamon will come back into the team, he'll get his opportunity again. He's got to grab it with both hands. Because this business is very individual as well as it's collective. And my job is to bring everyone together and create togetherness. I thought our supporters were brilliant the other day, absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, they got behind the team. I know they were frustrated at half time. Obviously, they vented their anger towards me, and I understand that. I get that. I'm the manager. So, yeah, so I have to, take, I have to own it, take responsibility for it. Um, and the players have to take responsibility. You know, they need to have a good look at themselves. They're representing themselves and their family a performance like that so they know that they, you know but what we don't want is a blame culture oh it's his fault is it we got to dig deep pull together and when the chips are down and in everything I've done in life and all the successes I've had in life you've just got to work harder simple as that it's, it's not a genius sport uh, people try to reinvent the wheel the team that runs the most wins the most games it's as simple as that and the team that makes the least errors win the most games. So and that's why Stockport at the top. Um, but for air players, like I said to them, their the stock's low. And, uh, it's up to them whether they want to be here next year or not. But performance of what I've seen, not a lot of them will be. They have to up their game over the next six games and give themselves a chance of being here next year. 
I, I know you, you start to after after the Dagenham uh, de- defeat that you said you sort of questioned y- y- yourself in in, uh, in in some areas. Will you be changing the system at all and no, maybe no. looking at things for for Southend? We'll just match the opposition and outrun them. That's all. We, that's all I want. I don't mind. I don't mind losing if you walk your socks off. If you give your all, any man can take defeat that way. Um, but when we don't give our all and we down tools and we stop doing the basics and we don't match the opposition and we drop off Junior and Marius and drop off and drop off and let them shoot from the edge of the box that's what does my head in um, right. Dagenham didn't do anything um, that they haven't been doing you know, we, we walk towards Dagenham and we walk towards how they play they play 3-5-2 they play with opposite wingers uh, sort of wing back sorry that like to come on, come on the inside west and one side uh, Mara on the other side Um you know, they're not, they're not blistering place up front, but we made them look that way. Yeah. McCallum, we know, is a box player. We know they score a lot from corners. We walked on it all, but at the end of the day, if the players aren't good enough to execute what you want, something's got to change. I, I know that I'm sure that, that some of the players' heads might, might be down from, from the defeat, but um, it's, it's important that we can get, go into South and work with the same belief that, that we can go and uh, win the match and, um, and treat it as, as just a new game. We were Jekyll and Hyde, didn't we? You know? So... We play Borough Wood, we do well. We all want to go on social media and make it look great. But the reality is we're 18th in the division. And, you know, we need root and branch. And it's as simple as that. It's, it, it doesn't change. I've watched the game back. You have sleepless night. You question yourself. You ask yourself, you know, how do I change this? Of course I question myself. Fourth, I always question. Don't just point the finger. Um, but we need to have a real, 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 real hard, long look at ourselves as a football club. Um, it's funny, I stayed at Dagenham the other day. Um, I, spoke, I was with the manager, a personal friend of mine. I was with the manager, I was with the owner. And I was with, um, <coughs> I was with Tom O, who's like, sort of like, the chairman there, runs the club, they, they run another. And uh, I stayed there at about 10 past seven. And there's a lot of soul there. There's a lot of soul. And I know that helps when you win football matches, but it just it felt like a place, you know, we just had, had togetherness. You know, Darren went through a really tough time at Dagenham, really tough, um, last season, and come out the other end of it, and you can sort of see they've signed good players, they've got strength and depth, and really that's what we've got to do. We've got to sign better players. And that's the truth of it. Um, I didn't really want to have this conversation until the season ended, but that's what we have to deal with. <clears throat> the players are playing for their own futures. Um, it, it, it's as simple as that. How important is it now that, that we can obviously stick together, that the fans, the, the, the players and, and the coaching staff as, as one? There's no hiding place. The players have got to step up. Step up and got to perform. You know, there's no hiding place. They, they know that. Um, I've told them. I've shown them. We've just done a video session. You know, Um Stick to the game plan, not go rogue, not do our own things, not take throw ins when we shouldn't be taking them. Centre half taking throw ins for their, I think it was their tour goal. Uh, Greeny takes a throw in, he don't take throw ins. You know, just run inside the line to Havilland, gets caught on the ball. Just can't, you do your own things, you just get more than this game, in this business. So, um, yeah, at the, the, at the end of the day, there's no hiding place, you know, so. Um, They've got to step up and they've got to be counted and they've got to do it for themselves and their family. You know, but the way it's been here, it'll be someone else's fault. Probably mine, probably the chairman's. I own it, you have to, you have to, you have to take responsibility and own it. I've got to own it. Um, stop this excuse culture. When we win, we want to go on social media. No, this rubbish, that world. Um, but all we want from people is just to give their all. All supporters want is for players to give their all, management team to give their all. Um, that's all we're asking for. Um, it's not. It's not hard. And I know confidence as well. I understand when teams score goals, but you know Dagenham smelled blood the other day, and, and and they got a lot of it. So we we need to man up, step up. So, like I say, the players have six games to um to change my mind. Um, and they, they need to perform. If they don't. They know, what's happen- they know what's coming for them. So, I've said this before, got 1,680 players out of contract in League 1, League 2 and the National League. That's for hungry players from below, players on the up. And, uh, you know, 
there'll be a lot of players who will come from a lot of jobs in the summer. Thanks for your time. Too.